Hello guys, this is Anish Ridge here with a tutorial on how to bring in your um, your Minecraft world into Cinema 4D and make it um, the correct size for animating, like this character is the exact size as the, 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 the map. Don't worry about the blur, it's just for lag purposes. They made it so it's lag free, well not lag free but it, there's a bit of lag. But normally it would be a lot more lag, but they reduced it a lot. So it's called Mindways, and now let's start off the tutorial. Oops, I have this already open. Um, okay, so going to the link, you should have this. It's Mindways official site, and they should have. You should be able. To, yeah, you can also. Um, get your 3D printout, actually like a 3D Minecraft printout which is pretty cool but very expensive, yeah this is like $1000, that's what I heard and uh, now we have, uh, if you have Windows you download this, if you have Mac you download this and Mac it will be a bit more difficult because you need to uh, download Wine which is a different software why is this open? exit um yeah so download it and you should drag the folder you get and go in drag it into cinema 4d no just drag it onto your desktop and you find this mindways thing and you should have all these giant pngs um including the minecraft one here and open up this and let me delete this, I don't need that. So now you should have Mineways open over here. And go into File, open the world you want to import, export. And go into your Minecraft folder, which is... You need to go into your users, uh, your user, library, application support, and find your Minecraft folder in here. It's over here, go into saves and find the world you want exported so mine is the village and then open the level that of the village and then find the part of what you want isn't this pretty cool um, so I'm just gonna like this bit here press yes if you want caves and press no if you just want the top of it and I see caves it just shows the caves not all the stone blocks but yeah I, I would press no and you can adjust the height you want rendered you, you want exported by just doing that and go into file select terrain PNG for export and find your mine uh, your mineways folder so going to desktop and find your folder. Oh, wrong one. Uh, 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 uh. Where is it? Oh. Okay, so I'm in here and select the turn PNG which you want. Misa is like a high definition 64, not high definition, but um, a realistic texture pack. And I would just use the normal Minecraft PNG. And now go into File, Export Modeling, Export for Rendering, and make a new folder. Name it whatever you like. Go into the folder and name it whatever you like. Name the file name, whatever you like. And press Save. It should be really fast to do it. Oh, wait, forgot this. And you can mess with the how big it is and the height you want it to be and everything. Um, make sure you have this at millimeters. And that's very important, otherwise it won't be the right size. And press OK. And it should finish. Yeah, OK, it's done. Then go find the folder, which is in wherever you saved it, so I saved it in the Mineways folder 
so over here and you should have four folders here and now go into cinema 4d let's get a new one and just drag in your village of um, sorry drag in the object of it which is this one and just drag it in type in a thousand it's very important this, this otherwise it would be the wrong size press enter and there we have it pretty cool um, and it's the correct size so now let's get all the textures so click on all the textures uh, actually just open this now click on all the textures um, off specular going to color click on that load the rgb.png off your the, off the the folder you just saved it on so it should be village rgb that's what I named my thing and put this to none because we don't want it blurry blurry in the render then go into alpha and load the rgba.png put it to none and okay we have everything done and except for the torches the torches you need to um, you need to place your own torch because because uh, mineways recognizes it as a block and not a not an object not a not a torch but in the render everything's cool and uh, everything is Oh, and the cool part is everything is separate, so the black wool is in one, one uh, now, one object is one object. Cobblestone stairs, ladder. You can even um, say one thing is really laggy, like a huge area, and you don't really need it. You just click on the green, the box here, and it should remove it from your editor, but not the render. Or you can just put them in a null, so click on the things you don't want. So I don't want these. So right click, group objects, and click on that. And then it shouldn't be there, whatever you want, you didn't want. And you can even edit, um, yeah, well, you can do anything with it. So very good, very good one, um, very good software, I guess. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Um, if you're having problems, please comment. And oh, I forgot to show you my character is the correct size. It is the correct size. Trust me. Um, yeah, let me quickly show you that. And, uh, yeah, it is the correct size, as you can see. He is the correct size. Final render and yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching.